you know, almost half of all falls happen at home. So you really need to take a look at your living environment to be sure that it's safe and hazard free. Now let's talk about some of the ways that we can make your home a safer place. Let's start with the lighting. It's important to keep your stairways and hallways well lighted and to use a night light in the bathroom and bedrooms. Use non-slip rugs and carpetings in the house. Use a sturdy step stool with handles. Now in the kitchen, if you're short like me and you need to use a step stool to get to the higher cabinets, why don't you just take the things that you use more often and move them down so you don't have to climb up to get at them. And clear clutter from walkways and stairs. For example, keep electrical cords, magazines, and telephone wires out of the way. Install grab bars in the bathroom and use non-skid mats in the shower and bathtub. Here's a, a really good tip. Use that soap on a rope. Don't bend or reach for your soap. Put a bar of soap in a nylon stocking with one end tied and put it on the towel bar. That will help you to find it so that you're not moving around and slipping. Arrange your furniture for easy access and movement. Wear proper fitting clothes, low heeled shoes, and non-slip soles on your socks and slippers. Take your time, don't rush around the house, and avoid making sharp turns. And just in case, think about obtaining an accident alert device. This is a device that you wear on your wrist or around your neck, which allows you to call for help when a button is pressed on the device. But remember, there is a cost involved with an accident alert device. An alternative is to have a network of family or friends to keep in contact with on a regular basis. So take a look around your home. Search for items that could potentially cause you or someone else to fall and then remove them. Now, as for your physical well-being, well, that's going to take a little bit more effort. Exercise is a great way to improve your strength and balance, and it's never too late to start a new program. But remember to always check with your doctor before starting any new exercise program. Especially beneficial are exercises that strengthen the muscles for walking and lifting. In addition, balance exercises can improve your stability. So we have to be flexible in our movement patterns in order to be able to meet the demands that the environment place on us. If balance is a problem though, you may want to consider using a walking aid such as a cane, walking stick, or walker. Falling occurs when, when people aren't healthy. As a, it's not a normal part of the aging process to be experiencing falls. It's also important to have your eyes checked yearly for vision changes, such as cataracts, glaucoma, and other eye problems. It's important to let your doctor or pharmacist know if one of your medicines is causing you to feel dizzy or to lose your balance, as this information will help them provide better care for you. The question that needs to be answered isn't, are you okay? It's, why did you fall? What is the underlying source of the falls? Your physician, your physical therapist should be consulted to help you develop an individualized plan that reduces your risk for further future falls. The, um, and the, the plans to prevent falling are as unique as the individual who is experiencing falls. Once you fall, you can lose your independence. You will be prone to falling again. You could develop a permanent disability, chronic pain. You could become dependent upon others for helping you with the simplest of daily activities. Remember what we said earlier, falls are the most common cause of injury death among older adults. But they don't have to be. Falls can be prevented and that will allow us to safely enjoy our golden years.